Welcome to the first Living Room concert of Fall 2020, organized by Brown Arts Initiative. I'm Tema Schechter. I am a senior at Brown, double concentrating in psychology and music. And I'm currently recording in my off-campus apartment in Providence in my living room. Um, I feel so lucky to have the opportunity to share my music at a time where so many artists are really unable to do so. Um, and oftentimes the creative process can feel really solitary and isolating. So being able to connect with you all and share, share this moment with you all um, through, through our screens, um, it, it, it's really special and I feel really thankful for the opportunity. So as we all know, it's been an incredibly crazy, awful, heartbreaking, and also inspiring and somewhat faith and faith restoring couple of months. Um, I've spent a lot of time this summer reflecting on my own identities and privileges and how I can use my skills and platform to advocate for racial justice and equity. Before I sing anything, I just want to acknowledge how much I owe to black artists and art. Uh, and how the music I create, as well as so much of the music I enjoy, would not exist without Black artists in jazz, blues, R&B, pop, gospel. And um, it's just really, really important for all musicians to recognize and educate ourselves on the impact of Black artists on the art that we create. Black Lives Matter, always. The first song I'm going to be singing is called State of Not Needing. Um, I found a lot of solace in this song during quarantine, um, even though it's a little bit of an older tune. And it just feels like a reminder that I don't really need anything that's going on in the outside world. I don't need the validation. I don't need any superficial stuff, parties. I don't even need to see human beings to be safe and healthy and okay. Um, yeah, if, if these times have taught us anything, it's... Um, the importance of being able to appreciate the simple joys um, and just shut out the world around us sometimes. So here's an ode to not needing. <clears throat> the world exists in two states needing and not needing and Exists in two states, needing and not needing and not. I'm in the state of not needing all that I need to believe is the essence beyond the salt in the sea. It's contraband. I have what I need, and I make my own rules. If Eden's enough for a girl, then I've got the finest jewels and a lesson to teach to whoever will listen. Laugh in the face of a trouble. Troubles head on, no, I sing carefree ditties instead.
Thank you. Uh, yeah, so my next song is a little bit of a newer song. Um, and I actually don't think I've ever performed it in front of an audience. Um, so this will be a, a world premiere. Um, and it is actually going to be on an album that I'm making for my senior thesis. And it's a story of healing. Healing from something that at the time was very painful um, and it was this song was just me trying to figure out how to find a voice in the midst of uh, a time that made me feel very voiceless so um, in the song that the agency is really found in these lines hear me start to sing tonight I'll drown you out this time and it's an ode to the power of music and songwriting in the process of healing if I saw this coming way before the rain, I would be running the storm clouds didn't stop to say hello. Oh 
My next song, Sacred Sound, um, was inspired by a journal entry I found from a while back. By journal entry, I mean an old Google Doc that was mostly nonsensical word vomit. Um, the word vomit was about a friend who was, at the time, struggling with just going through a hard time emotionally and struggling with whether her feelings were... Ooh, ooh. Ooh. struggling with whether her feelings were were valid. And looking back at that journal entry, I was like, huh, this is pretty poetic. I saw the words, scattered words, were all broken pieces, cloaked in chaos and scars. And I was like, mom, 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 mom. That sounds like the beginning of a song. And then I just sort of did the song thing. And did a little improvising, and suddenly, there we had it. A tune about the journal entry. <laughs> and I don't actually think that this friend knows that I wrote it for or about her. Um, but either way, anyone who's listening, I hope that it can serve as um, a sense of comfort, as a reminder that however you're feeling, however you're doing right now is valid and is okay. Um, and you are loved and safe. We're all broken pieces, cloaked in chaos and scars, but I'm here to tell you you're loved from your toes to the stars. You are never helpless, not while I'm around. I'll lift you off the rumbling ground and love you till I don't know how. This is the sacred sound of a love that knows no bounds. to the cloud. This is the sacred sound of love that knows no bound. You stand on sacred ground where love can know no bound. Gift me a pain to bury I'll hand you a piece of the sky And you'll be the sanctuary An honest soul knows how to cry This is the sacred sound of love Thank you. <laughs> the 
this next song uh, is called Fly Me With A Thousand Suns. I wrote it a few years back, but recently played it again for the first time in a while. Uh, I had just gotten this lovely new guitar, and uh, I was just experimenting on some old songs to see if they felt any different on this new exciting instrument. Uh, this song, Fly Me With A Thousand Suns, did feel quite different than it ever did before. Um, it's it's an angry song, <laughs> a song of frustration and pain. Um, and playing it with a lot of just, a lot of that distortion um, really made it feel cathartic in a way it never had before. Um, I wanna thank Erin McCone, uh, the amazing professor of my songwriting class at Brown this past year, who recently reminded me how how incredibly important angry songs are um, how they are just as healing as slow, quiet, sad songs. So, uh, I hope that you can join me in just getting mad and, <laughs> and using music to just get it out. Um, so, hope you enjoy. Must find light in the nick of time. Rebel against the taunting sky Thought you winked, but you blinked an eye Secret stares and reluctant smiles And reluctant smiles My side is like a fickle you want it to be I see through you what you pretend to see in me what you see in me blind with a thousand sun let your secrets come down drop me out with any talk overdose of aftershock oh heartbreak you fool everyone fly me with a thousand sun Charm on another friend Ain't another player Play as hard as you can Fly me with a thousand suns Let your secrets come undone Throw me up with witty talk Overdose on aftershock Oh heartbreaker you fool everyone Fly me with a thousand suns I don't pray right Oh, you're broken bones in the end I gotta pay the price I let you treat me this way Now the week they're here to stay My mortal self is a great like hell for you For a thousand times with a thousand songs Let your secrets come undone Dump me up with witty talk This next song will be my last song, Umbrella Boy. Ah. I often perform it in my sets because it feels like my most hopeful song. And it's, you know, it's about finding love and the power of love. And in this song, it appears to be romantic love, but of course, this applies to any kind, friends, family, really anyone who helps you get through it, all of it from the little baby moments to the huge memories together. We all need a little bit of that, a lot little bit of that. 
Um, I hope this serves as a prayer for you to continue finding, nurturing, and cherishing the love you have and spreading your love to others. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Umbrella boy on his makeshift telephone Every day he prays that he will find the one He waits for rain on his lonesome yellow bunch With desire he goes insane, his heart gets drenched Oh, 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 and all he wants is someone who will stare at constellations And ponder time and space all night Jump in puddles, belt out harmonies and point at and being my audience in this weird time and um, thank you again to Brown Arts Initiative for giving me this opportunity. I hope you all take care and please stay safe.